Hey everybody, it's Elisa from Elisa's Art Room. So some of my viewers were asking about my tear ruler. Now I made this myself. It's out of an old school ruler that I happen to have laying around and I thought I might take a minute and just show you how to make one. Hopefully it will work. All I have is a paint stick right now, but I did notice that the paint stick is pretty much the same size as my normal um, ruler and I think the wood is a similar wood so I think ideally you need to use a solid wood so and this one is solid I had some that was more of a plywood so I didn't want to use that so let's try to make one of these and you can see how it works so basically I'll show you real quick how it tears so you just lay it on your piece of paper okay and you get a nice just a ragged tear all right so that's what we're going to be going for and you can do it one of two ways so you could use a dremel if you happen to have a dremel tool or you can just use sandpaper and popsicle sticks or a dowel or i think this is a little piece of wood from dollar tree i just take um sandpaper and wrap it around something okay it's a popsicle stick so it is a popsicle stick just like that one and this one happens to be um, 320 this one was probably 80 to start with I'm not sure if it's still that because it's very very old and it's probably more like a I don't know maybe a 120 at this point but all you do is just wrap it around and tape it with some tape Usually just one end is enough to secure it. And um, I'm gonna use, I think that one's okay. I have some fresh sandpaper in case it doesn't cut, but I think it'll be okay. I usually will start out with a round piece first to make my first cuts. Now, you don't wanna go too deep. You can see it, this one, it's not very deep, okay? I don't know if I can't change here. Let me see if I can change the focus. So it's not a very deep cut. If you go too deep, it won't, it'll just catch and it won't cut properly. So that's something to keep in mind. And you don't want to cut the bottom of your ruler. So on this one, there is actually some measurements on here. So we'll make the other side the bottom and I will keep the measurements on here they're very faint but we'll go ahead and use this we'll use this edge because I tend to tear from this side down and it's already got that little indentation there so I don't know how that's going to affect things like I said if you have a, a ruler it's probably the best bet but you know we're going to work with what we have just use this one I'll pull it off later and we're going to put um we're going to put this 80 on here is this 80 also yeah we'll use this piece because that's all I really need and just wrap it as tight as you can probably don't need all of this you can Cut this with your scissors but honestly cutting the sandpaper with your scissors is very very hard on your scissors so I wouldn't really suggest it so I'm try to hold that tight it's best if you have your tape already pulled out and on your table <laughs> sometimes I will do that but I forgot to so we're gonna make it work I'm just going to try to get just that bottom section and maybe the top. I think it's about time to get some more tape. Alright, so we'll do just that very, very tip there. Alright, and that should give me enough sandpaper to work with okay so if you're using something like this don't have a dremel or whatever so all you're going to want to do is at an angle say 
um, 45 degrees maybe, just start cutting into it, okay? You see how easy that cuts? And you're gonna wanna just make little cuts and go maybe a fourth of an inch deep, if that, okay? You don't wanna get into this part yet. Okay, so try to avoid getting that, that deep into it. And just keep them kind of different. So some can be longer, some can be shorter. Just don't make any real harsh. You know, if you're using something with a corner, if you make a cut that's really sharp like that, the paper has a difficult time with it. So it's best if you're having to use popsicle sticks, just to smooth it out on each side. Okay, so that it's not just a sudden drop. So you can see it cuts pretty easy. It's not like it's super hard to cut. And I just kind of play with it and keep going until I get close to the bottom there. You want just a thin layer on the bottom. And I'm going to show you with the Dremel as well in case you're using one. This, this is really old. I think it's time for a new blade or a new bit on that. <laughs> I don't think I have any new bits. I have a couple of sandpaper bits, but they're a little bit wide. So honestly, I just use this. But a Dremel will work. If you have the correct bits, it can be easier, I guess. I just don't find it that difficult to do it this way. start getting to that edge you can just kind of switch it if your sandpaper starts getting too war and it's not cutting anymore just switch it out I'll switch to this one for a minute I can hold this better than I can hold the round one this point you want to just continue shaping the wood and getting that 45 angle in there so that it lays nice and flat. You're going to have to start coming in just a little bit to get those grooves like this. Can you see that? Let me get the red paper. Do you see how the grooves go in just a little bit? Not much, just a little bit. Okay, now I have this down because I didn't want to sandpaper on my mat. It will eat your mat up. So now we're going to start letting it go in just a little bit. Keep your angle. You don't want it to go too thin. Trying to get that angle you want a nice I guess about a 45 degree angle on the whole thing so at some point you're gonna need to start taking the top off at that angle now just keep peeking to see how thick it is it has to be pretty thin to get that sharp edge Now, if you need to, wear gloves. I'm not. This is getting dull. Let me grab this. Another piece on here. I'm just going to wrap it and hold it.
The whole process really doesn't take, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, I guess. But, you know, if you're having trouble finding a tarot ruler or you don't like the tarot rulers you have, it's an option. Okay. You just don't want it too alike. Keep, keep it different. Like, if you start getting them all one inch apart because you're just a little too perfect, then throw another gap in there so that it's not too perfect. Now, when you see me do this, I'm not taking any off that. I'm just taking the splinters off. Every now and then I'll do that just to kind of take off the splinters. So I don't want to take any bulk off the bottom. I'm just going to fine tune. More there. Oops. Yeah, big spinner. A little bit there. That's not too bad. Maybe one there. And after you do it for a minute and you get it, you know, where you think it's about right, you've got it at your angle. I would suggest just smoothing it down just a little bit. You can take your thinner sandpaper and just kind of take off any splinters. And you can kind of just check the thinness. You want it to be nice and thin and and evenly thin, like right there, there's a little thick spot. So I don't want that thick right there. So I'm just gonna take it and try to flatten that out. That's what keeps it sharp, so. Okay, let's do a test and see how it is working. So we're gonna move this out of the way. Grab a piece of paper. Okay. Now, when you're tearing, you want to hold the longer piece. Okay. So, if I was wanting to remove this little bit right here, this edge, you don't want to try to do this and then do this part because that's very difficult. Try to work with it the other way. Okay. And put it on that edge and put a lot of pressure. So I put a lot of pressure where I'm pulling. So if I'm gonna pull right here, that's where my pressure is, okay? And I just keep pulling all the way down. Okay, and then you can look at it and say, hmm, do I like that? You know, this one's got a little more shape to it. I've got a couple of deeper grooves in here. Okay, so maybe I wanna play with it just a little bit more and get a few deeper grooves. That's up to you. You can have several different ones, you know, some with deeper grooves. You just can't go too deep on the grooves. I found that when you do go too deep on the groove, um, it just catches and it, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to work right. So basically that's it in a nutshell, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson and I hope you give it a try. Make yourself your own tear ruler. All right, guys, you take care and I will see you next time on Lisa's Art Room. All right, bye-bye.